Right, I'm off to capture some reflections in Tarn House. Why not come with me? Well, good afternoon and you find me out and about in the Lake District again this time a bit further afield we're down in the, in the southern lakes not far from Coniston and we've come to a place called or we're walking to a place called Tarn House and what's the plan there we're looking at the forecast it's meant to be sunny intervals although it doesn't particularly look like it at the moment and very little wind so I thought the idea would be to go somewhere where there's water and trees etc particularly with the, the autumn just to try and get some um, reflections hopefully the water will be nice and still so we can get some reflections and we can um, yeah, get some nice images with the autumn colours and reflections in the tarn. So, how that will go, I'm not quite sure. But the other thing I wanted to say was thank you very, very much to everybody who subscribed. I'm well past my total, total, uh, not total, target of 750,000. So that's very good and also i'd just like to say just looking at the statistics about 60 percent of people who are watching this channel are not actually subscribed it is a great help to the growth of the channel etc if people would subscribe so if you are one of that 60 percent give it a thought and why not subscribe you don't have to um, necessarily click the button to get notifications. I think mean, that will be useful, then you'll be notified every time I put a video up. Although I do put them up regularly. I put The aim is that they would go up at five o'clock on a Sunday and I've managed that for quite a while now. So yeah, so that's, um, that's just a request. If you do regularly watch, please subscribe. It would be much appreciated and it will help the channel greatly. So, we're going to have a wander up. We've parked at the bottom car park and we're going up by um, the Beck Stream, whatever. Um, it's probably got a name. I'll see if I can put the name up on the video. And I'm going to see, before we get to Town House, going up by the back whether there's any suitable waterfall images to be had so anyway we'll have a mooch around and we'll see you a little bit later right well we found our first composition for this um, waterfall stroke cascades on, on the, the stream here it's it's quite impressive how it'll come out I don't, uh, I'm never quite sure because sometimes I think waterfalls look really good and then I'm not over keen with the, the image. There are some colours, there's some leaves on the, on the rocks there and it's a bit awkward to get to. Um, I've come in my walking boots so I can't really stand in the stream and down there in front of me would have been a good place to stand but I've come back a bit and if, if I zoom out you see there's the falls and that's where we've got the camera. It's a little bit awkward, I mean the camera's pretty stable, it's the legs are on solid ground but it's not the easiest to to get yourself in a position to be able to operate it. So yeah I think that'll be quite good, I mean I've taken the standard um, crop which is um, 
six before, but I might crop in to five before. I do need, I was thinking as I was processing the, the last video from my trip to the rainforest, I do need to work more on getting the correct crop in the field rather than just taking a picture and then cropping it totally different, which I did with the and the mossy boulder which I took with the the boulder in the middle of the the image but in the end I cropped it so it was towards one of the corners so yeah that's one thing I need to work on but yeah that's quite a nice waterfall to say we've got the camera there it's not the main reason for coming the waterfalls I'll hopefully get some uh, as I say, reflections in the town, hopefully it's smooth and calm enough. But this is, uh, I have been up here before, at least once or twice, and I don't ever remember seeing this particular set of falls, so that's a new one on me. So, yeah, we'll put the image up and we'll head up further towards the town if there's anything, any other waterfalls of any significance I might capture them whether I vlog them or just capture them and then put them up on the video uh, we'll wait and see so yeah anyway we'll put the video uh, the image up and we'll see you a bit later Right, well, we've made it up to the town now, and it is pretty still. A uh, little minor ripples. If we look, if I turn round, you can see it, it's there behind me. So, yeah, one or two slight ripples, and, but there is reflections. So, I'm going to go round the time I came before, I went round anti clockwise. This time, I'm going to go round clockwise. 
And I'm just going to go around, see if we can come up with any compositions for the um, for the reflection. So, yeah, we'll have a wander around, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right. Well, we've not come very far, and we managed to come up with a composition. It's not an earth-shattering one, but it's quite nice. And you can see there in front of me, you can, we're looking south, back to where the, the upper car park is, and we've got the grassy bank, and then it's perfectly reflected in the tarn there. So that's the composition. It's relatively straightforward. We've got the camera there. I have taken, and I can't remember what the settings were, but a standard setting. But there was, a, there is a little bit of ripple in the water, so I've put, as you can see, is on there at the moment. I've got an ND filter. It's actually a, a six, six stop ND filter, and uh, I think that's given me about a five second exposure, which just then smooths out and gets rid of the ripples. I've also got a polarizer on. I'm not quite sure what total effect. It doesn't seem to be hiding the um, reflections. I mean, you can see now, I don't know whether you can make it out, but as I'm looking, there are, there must have been a breath of wind and there are quite a few ripples on the water now. But anyway, we'll, we'll put whichever images up best and then we'll carry on going around, see if we can find something a, a bit more stunning than that. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we've come further around. There's, there are lots of reflections because the water is very calm, but trying to find something that makes a good composition, I'm really struggling, but I've, we're more or less at the northern point now. And I have come across um, this small copse that's reflected in the water. So if I come around, you can see the cameras there. So I suppose, yeah, we're taking... Um, portrait mode but a slightly squashed portrait mode I've set it to um, 4b3 and I might squash it a bit more once I get home because often I do ones uh, 5b4 which is slightly more squashed than 4b3 but 5b4 unfortunately is not an option on the camera so yeah I mean you can see the lake there it's very reflective it's just trying to find something that's um that's quite good so if this image is any good we'll put it on the camera and we'll continue around but what i am going to do in you can't really see it from there but in there there's a sort of should we call it an inland a smaller tarn with a little hut if it's still there i might see if i can get in there to to get an image of of that because i seem to remember that time that was quite good so anyway so we'll put the image up and we'll carry on around the tarns
Right, you maybe saw on the b-roll the back of the house. We've managed to find our way. It wasn't easy. Um, it's a bit like bushwhacking, but it is right to roam land. Um, to the other side of this small tarn, um, which is actually was slightly higher than the, the actual main tarn. So, you, yeah, and you can see the hut over there. And... Yeah, you can see the camera as well. So what I've done, a bit like the, the last shot, I've done it as a portrait, but slightly squashed. I've done it 4 by 3 and may squash it to, to 5 by 4 but once we've processed it. I mean, it's quite pleasant here. It's just very difficult to get to. So, yeah, the path goes up around there somewhere. So I'll find a path and we'll get out here. But... Yeah, hopefully we've got a nice image, so we'll put the image up and we'll carry on around the, lake, the tarn, should I say, and we'll see you a bit later. Right, well we've come up with what will probably be our last composition. You can see there in the middle of the the frame there's those trees with the reflection. I think I've actually taken this before. I don't think it's going to be a stunning image because the light's starting to fade. We are getting towards sunset. So, and what I've done on the camera, I've decided to do a square crop. So, yeah, we, we've done that. I mean, we're talking about getting on to half a second without any filters, etc. Because the, the light is starting to fade. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, we'll put that image up. And you can see just looking around how peaceful and serene it is here. So... Probably just going to go a little bit further, maybe find somewhere to have a sit down. I'm just going to see what happens in the next half an hour or so with the skies. I and mean, if the skies remain as they are, um, we're probably not going to do anything else. But obviously if we get some colour, we might come up with some compositions with the colour in. But yeah, we'll just carry on a bit further on and find somewhere to have a a sit down so yeah so as I say we'll put the image up and we'll see you a bit later Right, well we found somewhere to sit while we wait to see if there's going to be a sunset or not. So I thought what I'd do is I'd actually do the piece to camera now, uh, the closing comments, and then if there is um, a sunset, any colour, which I have a feeling there's not going to be, um, I can either slot it in before this or hour after. So yeah, it's been a good afternoon. It's good to get out, something different. 
I have been here with the camera once before, I have been a past another time, but as a couple of the images I've taken are very similar uh, to what I've had before, but it's it's a grand place, particularly when it's like this. I mean, I could just, well, I'm going to sit here for a while. It is very, very pleasant just sitting here. You can just hear the birds a bit. There's not a wind. The the tarn is so still. It's it's brilliant. And hopefully I've got some nice images. And just to encourage you to, to have a look, particularly around water, if it is relatively still, uh, you can often get good reflections. Unfortunately today, the light has not been too good. So... Um, the images are maybe not as good as they, they could be if there'd been better light. So, but yeah. And just to remind people, if you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up. And as I mentioned at the beginning, only 60% of, or 60 of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. And if it's people watching again, I would just kindly ask... I'm not asking you to get notifications, you don't have to click that button, but please subscribe because it is great help to the, the channel. And if you like it, the more sub subscriptions there is, um, the algorithm will push it out more and more people will be able to see it. So that's the idea. And as I said, we've passed the 750 mark. So question is, what next? And the simple answer is, I don't know, I mean, it, it's now Sunday, obviously this will be coming up next Sunday, and Saturday I've got an all-day meeting, so hopefully if I can get the video, this sorted and up and done before I go off on my conference thing on the Saturday, we can, I'll have the Sunday maybe to go out somewhere, uh, would need to look at the weather forecast, and see what the weather's going to do and whether it's worth what it's worth doing but there will be something and hopefully it will be enjoyable but yeah i don't think there's much else to say at the moment so we'll see you on the next video